Hey there, thank you so much for stopping by, Cold Stare here, and in this video we're going to cover everything you need to know about taming Sul Raka, the lowest spirit beast. Alright, well let's get right into it. With patch 10.2 officially live, we now have access to the Emerald Dream and with it a ton of awesome new pets. But for now we're going to be focusing on finding Sul Raka. Sul Raka is a spirit beast, so you will need to be in Beast Mastery Specialization in order to tame her. If you're not familiar with spirit beasts, they do give you the self-heal spirit men and the strong defensive cooldown fortitude of the bear, so it makes a great pet for Mythic Plus or Raiding. Alright, well let's get into how we find Soul Raka. She is always stealth, which means we have to do a little hunting. As she prowls around, she leaves behind these heavy tracks, and that's how we're going to find her. This is her patrol route that she walks, and it takes just under 20 minutes for her to complete it. Now there's one of two ways you can go about this. You can just pick a spot, sit there, wait for the tracks to start to show up, and then you can begin flaring. Or you can do like I did and just fly around looking for him. The tracks are really easy to spot, even from up in the air, as you can see. Now what you have to do once you spot the tracks, is pay close attention to which side of the tracks the talons are on. That's your indicator of the direction she's heading in. And then you're just going to follow the tracks until you don't see them anymore. Once you've reached the end of the tracks, that's when you can begin flaring. And for me, this is such a better way to find spirit beast, right? Like, it's just so much better than spending hours sitting in one spot, waiting for that spirit beast to spawn. This is much more proactive. You know, you're, you're actually hunting, you're flaring, you're following tracks. So anyway, here it is. We flare and there's Sul Raka. So you'll want to go ahead and throw your Hunter's Mark on it. Uh, probably best to trap it because when you start to tame, she's not going to attack you and she can just walk out of range of your uh, tame and you'll have to recast it. So, but yeah, once you finish taming, that's all there is to it. It's, she's on about a 30 minute cool respawn timer, I believe, if you're wanting that matching tandem pet. Uh, really love what Blizzard did with the spirit beast in this patch. She's starting to step away from every single spirit beast being that kind of ethereal blue design and starting to give them their own unique designs. I really love that. So she's a great addition to your stable. Really love it. Hope you decide to go out and tame her. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in Azeroth. Bye.